my channel. Today we are doing a strictly calves workout. So lots of calf raises. A lot of these moves are inspired from my dancer ballerina days where those calves were, they were popping girl. This is also a great workout to strengthen your ankles. You might notice that today I'm wearing something brand spanking new. This is the new colors that just launched for the move collection for women's bust. I am obsessed with these colors. This is the emerald green. It is so beautiful. Like the video does not do it justice. It is so freaking beautiful. So we have three new colors that launched and you can shop them now and you can use my code Vicky 20 to get an extra 20% off your order. Yeah. I have put my sizing reference up here to help you pick your sizes and yeah thanks so much if you choose to shop through my link in the description and use my code it directly supports your girl so thank you all right so now let's go ahead and get started with the workout so i am doing this workout without shoes just because i feel like it allows me a better range of motion at my feet and we're doing this without weights but you can hold a weight or something in your hands however if you're a beginner I recommend without any weight. So first we're just gonna do calf raises facing front. So your feet are around hip width apart. You're going up to the balls of your feet, back down. Really go up to the top of your tippy toes, back down. If you have issues with balance, you can hold on to a wall or something for balance. It's totally fine. Try to keep your weight distributed between the balls of your feet and the outer part of your foot. We're going 45 seconds on and then 15 seconds to switch to the next position. All right, now we have calf raises pointed out. So what you're gonna do is stay in this position. You're just gonna point your toes outward. This allows us to really target the inner part of our calves. So now you're gonna be shifting the weight more toward like the balls of your feet. So you're gonna go up, back down, up, back down. And I'm telling you, even without weight, this one is a killer. Like usually when I work out calves intensely, the next day going upstairs, running, doing anything like calves just hurts. But as you get stronger and you wanna add weight, you can always hold a weight in your hands and it doesn't have to be a real weight. You can literally hold like a gallon of milk and that's a good amount of weight. Or hold your cat because Loki's 20 pounds, so he's like a good weight. Loki, Loki, come here, come. No, he doesn't want to come. Oh, he's coming. Oh my God, my cats are on fire, girl, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, whoo. All right, so now we are doing our Calf raises pointed inward. So this is a little bit of an awkward position. You're gonna point your toes in, not a lot, but just slightly. And you're gonna go up to your tippy toes, back down. You can hold onto something for balance for this one, but this really puts like the stress on the outer part of your calves. So we're really targeting everything, every part of our calves. So the weight is kind of going to the outside, the outer balls of your feet. I can keep going. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes. And you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. Right, so next up, shake it up, shake it up. We've got calf raises in second position. So now you're gonna be a little bit with your feet wider than uh, hip width apart and your toes pointed outward. Oh my God. So go up, back down. Ooh, up, back down. This really puts the pressure on like a very different part of the calves. I feel like it's like the lower part of the calves where the calf meets the leg. Oh my God. Holy moly. We can do this, come on. Okay, 
shake it out. Now don't hate me for this next one. We are doing a single calf raise. So if this one is too difficult for you, you can just do a regular calf raise, but you might want to hold on to something for balance. And I don't know what I'm going to hold on to. This window. So going up on one side, back down. So basically, your one foot is up, so all the weight of your body is on that one calf, and this one is intense. I can already feel my calves like popping. Go as slow as you have to go. Oh my God, just keep going. freaking hard and now we're gonna do the other side I'm trying to find some balance okay okay ready oh my god we're gonna need a good stretch after this one up to the balls of your feet back down we got this nice and sexy your calves are gonna look after this okay just keep going you can do it okay ten more seconds don't cheat try to go all the way up okay all right I literally cannot anymore all right shake your legs out next up we've got ballerina jumps Woo! If you don't want to do something so high impact, you can just do regular calf raises. So ballerina jumps, you're gonna be kind of like in first position, but a little bit wider, like right here, right? Your heels are right underneath your hips, toes pointing outwards, and we're just gonna jump, jump, jump. So we're doing tiny little plies, jumping up to the sky, pointing our feet down to the floor. Let's go. So that was it. That is our calf workout for today. Jumps at the end. Got me breathing a little hard. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this little calf workout. Please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow your girl on the grams, okay? On my fitness Instagram, where we post workouts, workout advice, nutrition, etc. And my personal Instagram, which is all about my life. Um, yeah, just my life, you know, travel, wedding planning stuff is going up there, all that good fun stuff. So make sure you give me a follow on both. And oh my God, gotta catch my breath. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.